Hindrances and challenges registered during the designated census period have prompted UBOS to add an extra five days for the exercise to allow enumerators complete uncovered areas. It is a continuation of the assignment that was given to the local governments and to the UBOS staff who are now enumerators and supervisors to complete the job that was started. So it's not a fresh assignment. It is simply allowing everybody to complete the job that they undertook to start from the beginning. The mop-up period is extended to hard-to-reach areas and those affected by network and immobility. The affected areas include Greater Kampala, Karimajong, Kabong, among others. That all areas that had difficulties in the beginning, that started late. And these, you know, Greater Kampala is one of them. We have areas in Karamoja, like Karenga, Kabong, Amdat. This one started late. A number of urban areas started late. And even within some districts, some sub-counties started late. So all these collectively are the reason this wave has been given. Uganda Bureau of Statistics has achieved 98% of its census goal with coverage of over 10.4 million households within the last days. This moment in time, let's be patriotic. This exercise has been embraced by everybody. Everybody wants to be enumerated. Discovered as of midnight last night was 10.4 million. As of last night, 10.4 million households. That's what was covered as of midnight last night. Uh, this is about 98% cut. Relatedly, police have recorded cases of stolen census enumeration materials with seven tablets reported stolen and three residents in Busi arrested for refusal to participate in census. Uh, where we had uh, a head of, of, a head of, uh, a head of a family identified as Wanyama Joseph and uh, he declined and said that uh, his family had already been calculated by God. So we arrested him, that is uh, what we are calling, and uh, uh, three other members uh, of uh, uh, his family. Patricia Nandago and Rogers Komagum for UBC.